Good evening. A mother and her ex-partner have been convicted over the death of a three-year-old boy after he was subjected to car crash-like injuries. Kamani Watson Darby died at his home in West Bromwich in June 2018 after sustained abuse. Well, today at Birmingham Crown Court, his mother, Alicia Watson, was convicted of causing or allowing her own son's death, while her former partner was convicted of murder. Lewis Warren has been following the case for us, and uh, he joins us now. Lewis, this is a most harrowing case. Tell us more about what happened. Well, this trial began 20 weeks ago, and the jury took seven days deliberating to reach nine verdicts, some including child cruelty charges. Now, they decided that 31-year-old Nathaniel Pope, who has a history of violence and would often look after Kamani, subjected him to a brutal beating that ultimately ended his short life. The attack was described in court as vicious, forceful in June 2018, and his injuries split in abdomen and caused a massive internal bleed. A warning that my report contains upsetting details of the final moments of Kamani's life. This is the moment paramedics arrive to find Kamani Watson Darby lying lifeless at his home in West Bromwich. The three-year-old had what was described in court as horrendous car crash-like injuries, including multiple fractures to his rib cage and bruising all over his body. His mother, Alicia Watson, and her boyfriend of the time, Nathaniel Pope, denied murder, but then turned on each other in court. Watson saying of Pope, he is a cold-hearted liar who must have caused the injuries without her knowing. Just moments before paramedics arrived at Stanton House in June 2018, Kamani's mother called for help. Service, breathing. Um, yeah, but he's not responding to me. He's three. He's three. He's three years old. He, he's three years old. He's okay, not responding. He's not responding. He's, he's, no, he's in his sleep. And I got to the doctor's this morning, and I've just sent to go pick up my, my other children back to school and come back home. But he's not responding to me. Okay, is his breathing noisy or quiet? He, 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 he's breathing quiet. He's breathing quiet, and he's three <laughs> years old. Yes. Okay, just stay calm for me. We've got the help arranged. What's the address? On the day of Kamani's death, CCTV shows his mother taking him to a fast food restaurant. At this point, he'd been complaining of feeling unwell. After a trip to see a nurse, nothing was identified, but he was prescribed rehydration medicine. It's that afternoon that the prosecution says Kamani was fatally assaulted. Tony Badenoch QC said Kamani had been the subject of repeated and, in all probability, sustained assaults. Obviously, they would have been extremely painful, and as a three-year-old, he would have been in no position, given his size, to offer any form of defence. This is, therefore, not a case in which an accident can play any part. Pope and Watson were responsible for his care, and they lived together in a small flat. These pictures are of inside flat number six. A witness, who can't be named for legal reasons, claimed Pope would lock Kamani in a room, in an interview played to jurors, the witness said Pope used to get an electrical wire and turn it around the door handle. Kamani would then bang on the door begging to be let out, and Pope would just do nothing. The witness also said Kamani was a naughty child and that Watson would slap him. The pair also faced child cruelty charges. This picture shows Kamani with a large clump of his hair cut off. It's believed he did this to himself, but in a voice note sent by Watson to some of her friends, she appears to hint that she would sometimes smack him. And I woke up this morning, like, he's got scissors in his hands, and most of his hair's gone. <laughs> I'm walking around here trying to find this boy's hair. I couldn't find I looked in the city. When I picked it all up, that time much yet, he cut off his hair. I was like, you know what? Like, I didn't even slap him on the fingers. Like, you know what? I don't even care. It's good to feel that. Like, you're still cute. Today, Watson was found guilty of causing or allowing her own son's death. And Pope was found guilty of murder. The pair will be sentenced next month. Lewis, the details are really difficult to hear, but we do know that Kamani visited a nurse on the day of his death and his injuries weren't spotted at that stage. What was said about this? 
Well, as you say, uh, Watson took Kamani to see a nurse at the Parsonage walk-in centre on the day of his death. Now, the court was told at this time his injuries would have been visible, but for some reason uh, they weren't picked up at that stage. Now, Malling Health, the operator of this centre, says it's taking part in a serious case review led by the council, the results of which should be published soon. Now, today in court number eight, the judge appeared visibly upset as she thanked the jury for their service, much of it listening to evidence that is simply too upsetting for us to broadcast. And it is for that reason that the judge excludes this jury from ever having to do jury service again.